Good morning all and just like everything else in my life I changed my mind about vlogging and I'm back again with another video of some of the things that I wanted to show you on the ship while I'm just wandering around. First things first is the cinema that this ship has and this is how it looks. You have your movie showings on there. Not really films I would watch if I'm honest. Uh, but it is a very nice cinema. It's a very pretty cinema. So this is another section of the Anderson's bar that I was showing in my last vlog. Um, this is the section that comes with the bar, but it is shut at the moment, but it is a very, very nice little area. I did want to show one of the dining rooms, but they look closed off. I might ask and see if I can just get a little bit of footage of one of the dining rooms because they do actually look all sim similar in my opinion. But if they let me uh, just scroll across, one of them's open so I might be able to do it. Now it's a little bit too busy in there. Um, if I start videoing people while they're eating they might get a bit funny about that to be honest. So maybe I can try and come back later and try again. We didn't really do a lot yesterday, we literally just played Scrabble all afternoon, which was really nice. And we had an early night in bed. Today we're looking at getting into the hot tubs, because I think people are having like a late breakfast. So uh, yeah, we're going to whack on our swimming suits and chill out in the tub for a bit. The rain has finally come in now. You can see it all across the deck. The heavens have opened and we haven't really had a lot of rain this week. So we've done, not done bad for ourselves, I can tell you that. The sea isn't as calm as it was before either. So yes, we're gonna see how the rocking fares tonight. So I'm just gonna take you on a quick tour on the parade deck and the shops that are on here which I think some people may enjoy. shots and what I've included in the video but they're just some of them on the parade deck that you might enjoy looking at we're just probably going to pick up a few gifts like key rings and stuff uh, but I think if you're a bit of a shopper I think you'll enjoy it down here as well so today we are going into the headliner theatre oh, to see a talk on um, Ben McBean a veteran from Afghanistan talking about his experiences and we are just 
So we're just relaxing in the atrium and throughout the cruise we've been told there's a possibility we can see whales or dolphins. Well, today, for the best part of the day, we have seen lots and lots of dolphins. And uh, it's just nice to see them jumping through the water, glistening in the sunshine. Um, they don't get too close to the ship though, mind you, but I imagine that the ship is providing a good food source as the propellers are like churning up the waters. So a lot of them sort of disappear towards the back of the ship. Here we go, we are in the dining room. Which dining room? Is it Aqua? Aqua, I think it is. In the Aqua dining room for afternoon tea, and we didn't have to book. And it's actually a quite a big turnout as well. There are a lot of people turning up, so yes, didn't have to book. We just got to the back of the line and went in. So yeah, it was uh, nicely done, nicely done. I'm actually a bit naughty, I've already started on the sandwiches. But we have scones and... It looks like a plain the fruit. Mm. Some cakes. That looks like a Black Forest type roulade. <gasps> That black forest. That's eaten mess. It's that one. Yeah. That's nice, that one. And that looks like a marble cake. Yeah. But I'm not sure. That's what this it's is. just a fruit pie. Yeah. Then the vegetarian sandwiches, which I've already scoffed. Chicken. Which is them. And then ham. ham and prawn. And prawn. So we are and going to enjoy those. Yeah, and jam and cream for our scones as well. The sandwiches are very tasty, but we discovered that that's ham and pickle leaf. And Carl doesn't eat, like the pickle leaf, so he's not my chicken. So. We ate in the Horizon Buffet tonight, and on the menu was Jamaican jerk chicken, beans, rice, and uh, Jamaican dumplings absolutely beautiful oh my god i am in kind of a state of euphoria right now because jamaican jerk chicken is one of my favorite favorite foods since i went to jamaica so i'm going to continue my state of euphoria upstairs while i have a quick shower and freshen up we have had such a lovely day today um friday tomorrow last day of the cruise i've not been able to fit in as much as i would but i've had such a nice time sometimes you lose track of time and you forget to do things like vlogging i mean i was supposed to be journaling and i've missed like two days of that so i'll have to cram them into little spaces uh so i try to keep up with the rhythm of a daily entry but being on holiday has just made that a quite difficult thing to do the dolphins have been in abundance today whether they'll be appearing in the channel tomorrow i don't know i'm not banking on it but there were lots of dolphins and we have got loads of footage of them so i'll try and drop some more of that in this video before i end it right now though i'm going to go and have myself a shower freshen up a little bit maybe a little tutty on my face and then go down, have a few drinks, because tomorrow is the last night that we can finish our drinks package. But my partner won't be drinking after 3 o'clock because he's got to drive from Southampton on Saturday morning. In a way, I do kind of get homesick to this point where I'm ready to go home. Uh, I have loved the holiday a lot, but I do have two cats that I miss a lot. So part of me does like is prepared ready to go home and obviously my niece's christening is on sunday so we have to make sure that all the clothes are clean and washed and ready for the day after so it's going to be a busy weekend and then back to work on the monday this evening we are going back to the cinema to watch cruella it's great we didn't actually get to do this on our holiday but you do get tennis courts 
not tennis courts, good lord. Um, Christ, I've forgotten what they are. Ping pong tables. You get ping pong tables, I think there's only two. And there's actually some tennis rackets there. So I could just like beat that against the wall. No, I'll be good. And then you get these across the floor now. Don't hate me because I don't know what the game is for these. I've just seen people play it, so I'm sure a lot of people that watch this will know what it is because unfortunately I am none the wiser. It's actually really amazing how dead it is at the back of the ship. Um, but my partner took some really nice pictures with all the fancy lights on. Different coloured lights on. I'm hoping to um, maybe get some similar photos or something. Maybe go down to even lower deck or something like that. And oh my lord, I can see the moon. It is lovely. It's so clear as well. Oh, let's go and have a look at the moon. So I've checked this AR app I have of the sky and we can actually see the moon which is probably not going to focus very well. It's a three quarter moon and it looks beautiful. You can actually see the dark side of the moon. Maybe not through a camera though. And then next to it just up there is Jupiter. Well they do look very very splendid. It's the last day of our cruise before we disembark tomorrow morning. So I am going to spend some of the day packing so I can get everything out of the way. Uh, just being in the hot tub one last time because I'm going to be having a shower. So that'll be it now for the holiday. I want to get some washing done in the laundrette, which when I go down down there, I will show people how the laundrette works because they were open um, the other day when I used them. So it will probably give you an idea of the laundrettes. So I feel refreshed after my shower. Um, I'm going to take you to the laundry. The one that I am going to use is deck 12 midship forward, I think it was. That's the one I used last time. Now, top tip, they don't provide any kind of detergents or softeners or anything. So we picked this up when we was in Southampton. It's just a small box of pods. Um, 15 pods and we've only used one out of it no that's a lie i've used two out of it for two different washes so hopefully if the laundrette isn't busy i can probably separate the darks and the whites again get a few more things done go back to the laundry because i'll show you how to set the washes etc etc but it is worth if you do bring your own detergents etc but keep them if you can in their original packaging because i know sometimes they might be funny as what's this you know and you're trying to say well it's detergent they go well we don't know um keep them in their original packaging so they know it is what it is because you know there's so much controversy and different things like it medication not being in packaging what drug is it etc it probably still applies the same to stuff like this or if you've got um tablets for washing so yeah bring your own detergent softeners etc the best part is we have not been charged to use the laundrette. So as far as I'm aware, on this particular cruise holiday, uh, it's not being charged to a room. I can't guarantee that they might change that from tomorrow. I really don't know. I can't, um, I don't have that advice. But as far as I am aware, it doesn't cost anything to use the laundrette on the ship. And we are off to deck 12. The corridor on deck 12 is really, really long. Still people cleaning and stuff, so if I remember which way to go, I should be okay. And still it goes on, and 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 on. Always take, I always take advantage of the laundrette if I can remember where it was. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the laundry and how to use the washers. Pretty straightforward really, but I'll go through it anyway. Start off here. So I already have these two occupied and someone else has this one occupied. So these will come up in red. Now, what you have to do is obviously, let's say for example, I want to use this washing machine. 
because I think you can cancel it. So I want to use this one and it'll turn red. And then obviously you put your stuff in. So let's just cancel that. Oh, I don't think you can now. Oops. Right, okay. I fudged that up. I don't know if you can actually take that off. I'll, I'll just leave it for now. And then obviously you have your instructions on how you do it. So to the washing machine and you twist the dial to the left to unlock, put everything in, close, turn to the right. The dial here tells you what settings you want. This will turn to zero, so don't worry about that when you've activated it on the screen. This will change to your settings that you want and then all you do is push this button in and it'll activate the washing machine. So I'm just going to empty out all my stuff and put it all in the dryers. I'm going to use the above dryers, which I've just used these, so select that one. Oh, for goodness sake. So, that one. And that one. Got my stuff in the tumbler, so same again as before. High, high temperatures, I think I did that one the other day. So, I'm not sure which one I want to use it on. Maybe not low temperature. So maybe we could go medium and hit OK. So 40 minutes, so that's not too bad. And then I'll do the same again on this one when it's ready to go, which it won't set, not me. So it's paused. OK, so I'll obviously do the same again for that one when I've put my stuff in. And that, ladies and gents, is how you work the laundrette. Side note, there are also ironing boards as well so i'm assuming there are two ironing boards per laundrette unless some of them are bigger than others so the washing is now going and uh because they're only short washes i have to come back in about 15 minutes so by the time i got to the cabin dumped everything it'll be time for me to come back down anyway so um i can get stuff in the wash or there's certain stuff that might need to hang dry before tomorrow so I could place those securely on the balcony or I could uh, hang them in the shower because there is a line. I now have 30 minutes to kill so I'm going to go to the atrium and have a drink. 4.2pm in the afternoon. The atrium is really quiet today. Obviously when we've been sat down um, relaxing it's been full of life and bustly and people walking around a lot but today it's almost deserted i think that people are starting to realize that it's home time tomorrow and they're probably getting the last of the sunshine in probably some packing their stuff like we are today but yeah it's uh, really really quiet we now sat in ripples which is like an ice cream cafe isn't it in a way and we have gone and ordered the ice cream afternoon tea. So I am going to thoroughly enjoy this and I am going to show you what we get as well so that you can see what you think if you fancy it. It is an extra charge, isn't it, to your card, to your cabin. Um, but if you think it's worth giving it a try, then try it, go ahead. Here it is, our afternoon ice cream, afternoon tea, with some goodies. So we'll be fighting over this one because I've no idea what it is, but it's got nuts in it from the look of it. There's a little teeny weeny macaroons in there and these pleasant little things up here. Oh, can't wait to try them. The ice cream afternoon tea was very, very delicious, wasn't it? But they really, really do like sticking the hazelnuts in there, which could be a problem for people who may have nut allergies. Um, because a lot of the ice creams that are on are little, um, what do you call these buddy things? These. Um, tea stands. The tea stands. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like a stand in it. Um, like they put one together for you but ours seem to have an abundance of hazelnut which my 
boyfriend is not a fan of so we may do with what we could and instead of me having half and half with him I just told him because I'm having something with hazelnut he could have something that didn't have hazelnut and I wouldn't be too bothered about the tasting of it it's not an issue to me because it would feel like he's had less and I've had more practically the whole stand but that coupled with a cup of tea uh, it was very very nice so if you do decide yourself to try out the afternoon tea please let me know in the comments what you thought about it and if you had any problems with the um, with any nut allergies you had and um, how they went around trying to resolve this issue so that you could equally enjoy the afternoon tea as well so we wanted to pick up some magnets for family and stuff and we thought we'll wait till the end of the holiday to pop into the shops. That decision has come around and bit us in the backside because there are no magnets. However, I did ask if when I own a docks in Southampton tomorrow will they be getting a delivery to the shop because Carl's parents are um, boarding tomorrow for their week on the ship and if they do get a stock in our magnets, they're probably going to have to pick them up for us. I could get a toaster, uh, a toaster, a coaster for my granddad, but um, I don't think he really uses coasters, so uh, yeah, it's um, a little bit awkward because I do like getting in my magnet because anytime I've been somewhere on holiday abroad, I always bring back a magnet at the place I've beaten so he can add them to his fridge. Unfortunately, that's not meant to be this time around, so I don't really want to get him a key ring. So we're going to see if Carl's parents can pick up some bits that we couldn't get this time around. So for our last night on the ship, we have ventured into the crow's nest we haven't actually been here yet and so i thought while it's quiet in this corner um i'll be able to talk to you guys it's a bit dark for my liking i suppose it's supposed to give you that vibe um but it's very tastely decorated and so on and so forth and uh, i suppose somewhere you can go after your evening meal but I think it's somewhere where we said we've been and visited, but not necessarily somewhere I'd go again. I don't know what it is about it. It just doesn't seem like my cup of tea. It could be because it's dark and I like light and airy. But it's another option to drink um, alcohol, you know, quaff. However, my partner decided that because he knows they sell Appleton Estate rum here, he was going to tease me with it. And he says he won't, but he is because I took painkillers tonight because I had a headache and I've had to just drink non-alcoholic drinks. And then when he decided to order that, I could cry because Appleton Estate rum and rum in general is my favorite. Yeah, not amused. Good morning all, and we are back in Southampton. And, uh, we have to go and get the car ready to leave the ship and so on. It's about half six, but we're not. Our disembarkation time was like half nine to half ten, I think. But we're just getting off the ship now because the sooner we can get away, the better. Because we have a long drive back up to Preston. Um, surprisingly warm. A bit overcast skies. But um, I'm ready for home. I'm really, really ready for home. We are finally off Iona. I know Carl has mixed opinions about it, but I really do like the ship. So who knows when we will be back on her again. I really look like a bag of rags today, but I'm going home. So there's not really that many people between here and there that are gonna see me looking like a scruff. So I don't really care on that front. And there she is behind me, Iona, and we're having to say goodbye to her. So now I have the cruise blues and we were already sort of glancing at cruises last night to see what we could go on next, but it probably won't be until we've done Disney World, 
which is not until November of next year. So yeah, it's um, it's going to be a pain in the ass when you want to go on holiday again on a ship. Carl's just checking the car and making sure everything's what it should be. And even though they take photos for insurance purposes and stuff, Carl does his own as well. And he's just making sure everything's right, his chair's right, the wheel's in the right place. And yeah, we'll be heading home. We got home about two o'clock in the afternoon. He's crashed on the couch. So I feel like I'm going to crash any second. You can tell how tired I am. And I took my tablets today. Anyway, I'm going to get the packing done. And I'm probably going to end up going to sleep on my bed anyway. If you like my video, please hit subscribe. Tap on the bell. You'll get a notification come online. I am going to end this trip vlog here. As you can tell, I am just going to hit the sack. So hope to see you guys come back soon for another boring video but until that time safe travels and uh goodbye for now